Um, fibroids are benign growth of the muscle part of the wall of the womb. They are extremely common in um, young women of reproductive age. And like many other benign growths or benign tumors, there are no known cause for this um, um, growth to, uh, to occur. Fibroids are extremely common in women. They affect about one in three women, and they vary in size from very tiny, small, even one centimeter or smaller than one centimeter to as large as 20 or over 20 centimeter in diameter, and from one or two to as many as maybe 30 or 40 fibroids. So they vary widely in how they are present in the womb. And this is why they vary in their symptoms and their presentations. In many women with small fibroids, they, uh, they have no symptoms at all. They're just discovered when they have an ultrasound scan and they are reassured. But when they are large enough to cause problems or it depends on their location and position inside the wall of the womb, they can cause a number of symptoms. The commonest one is heavy periods and sometimes irregular periods. Um, this is the commonest presentation. The other problems can be um, uh, pain or lower abdominal swelling. These are also common with fibroids. The last one is causing pressure with its a large size on various other organs, such as the bladder, causing bladder symptoms, mainly usually frequency, um, and bowel symptoms where sometimes they cause constipation or sometimes even difficulty in opening their bowel. These are the main presenting symptoms of fibroids. Fibroids are completely benign, and in, in most of the cases, they have no serious consequences at all. Most women are reassured, uh, they, and, and when there are no symptoms, there are not, there's nothing to do ne needed to be done about them. Um, complications could be compressing other organs, such as the ureter or, or the bladder or the bowel. And in, in situations where they compress the ureters, they can cause back pressure on the kidney that can put the kidney at risk. They can also cause uh, severe uh, anemia because of the prolonged uh, periods of bleeding. So these are the usual, and very rarely they can transform into malignancy, but this is extremely rare in this type of tumors. Treatments of fibroids depend on the number and size of the fibroids and their symptoms. Small, um, few fibroids not causing problems, we don't do anything to them. Large fibroids causing significant symptoms, we can initially start treat uh, some symptomatic treatment to reduce the amount of blood loss or to reduce the amount of pain. But if the symptoms cannot be controlled, then... Um, the commonest uh, treatment for fibroids is surgical removal, either of the fibroid or removal of the whole womb with a hysterectomy. There are a few other ways of treating the fibroids, such as what we call embolization. The radiologist will inject a, a little uh, uh, element into the blood vessels that are supplying the fibroid. So the blood supply stops and the fibroids shrink. There are also other methods um, like uh, focus ultrasound treatment, but these are not in common use.